peace and greetings this is Malik speaking I don't I like saying that so what I want to talk about right now is abortion what are my thoughts on abortion just a little commentary on abortion because I hear so many things and it kind of just it really kind of just gets under my skin how the reasoning that people give for their little reasons why people shouldn't have abortions and they feel so strongly about it and it really gets on my nerves I'm like people you are not thinking the people who say that people shouldn't get abortions it's like you do not understand what you are saying like you you must live in a very limited world if you're saying that people shouldn't get abortions because you don't know what goes on in people's life you don't know what goes on in people's bodies you don't know what's going on through people's minds so because of all those reasons you shouldn't be thinking about what a woman should do with her own body especially when it comes to her child and birthing another person into this world do you know how magical and and insane not you know i use insane lightly but you know, like it's a very intelligent and very detailed process, methodical process that has to be carried out for a person to be born into this world. And what's even more spectacular about it is that only women can do it. Only the women of the human species can give birth. So first of all, if you're not a woman, you shouldn't be speaking about abortion. The only thing you should be speaking about is if you think you know if like abortion itself is wrong but when it comes to the woman making that decision when it comes to that time and that woman's belly is feeling changes and is going through changes okay not just her belly her whole body is going through changes okay her whole world's changing in front of you you have no business giving or attempting to make a decision for her you know why because you're not carrying the baby because you're not going through that process all right she has the power to bring that life into the world she also has the power to not bring it into the world guess who else has that choice god god has a choice when he makes things that same element applies to women when they are creating a human being in their that place where babies grow the womb the womb is is a, is a, is a very special place you know we abuse it and we speak down on it as if it's nothing but we all come from it it's that darkness it's that void it's that deep space. It's the blank canvas where anything can be created. Anything can be created. There are a lot of things that can go wrong during that period when things are getting created. And sometimes when you see something being created, you're like, oh, actually let's scrap that start over and what do you do if you're an artist you know what happens when you're creating say you're writing a story guess what you scrap it if you don't like it if you don't like the outcome if you don't want to see the outcome you scrap it when you're making a dinner if you don't like the way it tastes as you're making it I mean a good chef would scrap it start over do something else do it when it feels better if I'm making a song and doesn't feel good I scrap it other people may like it other people like hey man you should keep going hey I'm the creator and that's the same that's the same mentality that women have when they're having a baby they're like hey I know you you helped me begin this creation but you're not the one creating it I am and right now this is how some women think and they have a right to because only they 
can know. That was that was the other point that I wanted to make is that only women can know what is good and not good for their child. And they know. They know on many levels, from a physical level, from a metaphysical level. You know, this world is a lot bigger than what we think. There's all type of things going on, all type of communication going on. You don't even know. You just think just because that thing is in her belly, it should come out. You can't make that choice for her. Okay. I mean, I'm very limited in the words that I can say right now because I feel like I'm not really speaking to people that can talk on a deeper level like that. So I'm going to just keep it at like, you know, basically at the level that I'm talking right now and just kind of, I feel like I'm, I'm talking in generalizations really, but you know, we'll see. We'll see how, how high can the vibes go. How high can the vibes go? Yeah, man. So bottom line, when it comes to abortion, don't tell somebody what to do with their body. That even goes to food and with drugs and anything else. Like, if somebody wants to cut themselves, yes, you don't want them to cut themselves. But guess what? At the end of the day, you're not going to stop them from cutting themselves. Because they're going to be by themselves at one point. And they're going to have access to a knife. They're abundant. And guess what? They're going to have to make the decision to cut themselves if they really want to. Same with a woman. If she wants to have a baby, she's with that baby forever. If she sees things are going wrong, like if, she, you know, something about RH negative and it's going to cause the baby to have diseases or um, what else happens? You know, the, the, the woman's too young or... You know, the baby's not going to be born into the in the best circumstances. Guess what? The mom has absolute choice. If she wants that baby to come out into those circumstances a lot. It's all act of love. It's not an act of hate for her to do that. You know? Wouldn't you appreciate it if your mom was, you know, made decisions like that for you? Like, especially when you can't make it for yourself? Because it's not like you can control the fact that you're being created. You can't control that the fact that your mom had sex and got pregnant. So what if, you know, you're about to be born into Liberia? If you don't know about Liberia, go look it up. But what if you're about to be born into Liberia? Or to some other place where it's like just war-torn? No human wants to be born into that. But people have sex and cause their bodies to biologically go through those changes to start creating another person and guess what a soul has to inhabit that body I don't really know how that part works but a soul has to inhabit that body by the time it comes out so I mean this stuff gets deep I know there's a lot of stuff that I'm not even touching right now, but it gets deep. That's why you can't talk about abortion. When it comes to abortion, just talk about if you think if it's right or wrong or not. When it comes to women, don't even speak about it. It's like that's up to the that's up to the mother at that time, at that given time, and the circumstances. So that's all I gotta say for abortion. And what I think about abortion, I think it shouldn't be done. I think it should be avoided at all costs. But I understand that it's needed sometimes. It is needed sometimes. Sometimes you just got to be like, hey, we got to stop this right now. This is not good. Hey, I'm very sick. I can't get pregnant right now. We got to stop this right now. That's just how it goes. You guys got to make the best decision. But, you know, if you can avoid it, basically, the best ways to avoid that is just to not have sex until you want to have a baby. But people don't do that. Um, most people don't have the strength to 
to withstand those temptations and not give in to the temptations of having sex without marriage. Because that's basically what sex with marriage is. When you have sex with marriage, you're, you're starting a family when you have sex, basically. That's what it means to me. Marriage is not on paper or when you go in front of a preacher or anything. Marriage is a, is a mental and physical and energetic thing. Once you and that person make that vow that, hey, we're going to be together and we're going we're gonna to make things together. We're going to be partners throughout this life and making things. That's where marriage happens. And I think it happens right. Well, not right, but I think sex does consummate the marriage. Because once you have sex, that's like, that's like lock and key. It's like, boom, it's done. Like the marriage process is over because there's more in my mind there's more to the process of marriage but boom when you lock and key be together um, and I'll speak on that some other time so that's my thing for abortion hope you guys enjoyed see you on the next one peace